Times of India has reported that the DRDO is all set to conduct a slew of tests of several indigenously developed systems this month. That includes the 250 km range Rudram-1 anti-radiation missile, 110 km range Astra-1 missile which has been fitted with an indigenous seeker instead of the existing Russian Agat seeker, and the first launch of the 160 km range Astra Mark II from a Su-30 aircraft by the end of this month. The DRDO will also begin the trials of the 350 km range Rudram-2 missile very soon. That will be followed with some tests of the SOAR Precision Guided Anti-Airfield Weapon. The DRDO will also conduct the first test of the 350 km range Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile by the end of 2022. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for information to procure 250 long-range satellite navigation system guided missile from registered Indian vendors. It will have a range of at least 220 km, and the operational requirements mentions that it can be a supersonic or a hypersonic missile. The LRSGM missile will be an all-weather day and night standoff missile, that can be equipped with multi-purpose warhead configurations suitable for various types of targets. The LRSGM missile will be installed on fighter jets of Indian Air Force using standard suspension system. The delivery of the first production model will be done in two years from the date of award of contract, and all 250 units should be delivered within 48 months from the date of award of contract. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has issued a tender for the selection of an industry partner for the development and production of 16-man portable autonomous underwater vehicles and its accessories. It will have two different variants, that can be launched from naval ships and will work in a coordinated manner to meet the mission objective of detection, classification and localization of underwater threats. It will feature artificial intelligence-enabled onboard computer, and multiple sensors like depth sensor, underwater camera with light, side scan sonar system, underwater acoustic communication system and surface radio frequency communication system. It will be powered by lithium-ion battery with battery management system, and will have an endurance of 6 hours, and a speed of 8 km per hour at a depth of 75 meters. The DRDO has asked interested companies to submit their expression of interest for the development of generic infrared model for battlefield armored vehicles and target scenarios, that will be executed under the Technology Development Fund scheme. It will be integrated in simulators for all existing infrared imaging seeker-based third-generation ATGMs and all upcoming variants like NAG Mark II anti-tank guided missile. A number of technologies and products were displayed at the North Tech Symposium conducted by Indian Army's Northern Command, that included surveillance and situational awareness, tactical mobility, communications, combat medical facility, extreme cold weather clothing for troops, robotics and simulators, rifles and sights. Private sector firm SSS Defense has also unveiled its latest 762 by 39 mm rifle at the event, that has the ability to accommodate every type of optic and sight, and has been offered to the Indian Army as an alternative to the long-delayed Russian AK-203. The Vice Chief of the Indian Army has said, that almost all approvals for defense procurements will go to domestic manufacturers, and more than 90% of acceptance of necessity will be given to the Indian industry.